الحمد لله استهل بالحمد خير ما نزل إليك خمسا تبدأ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Honorable and respected listeners, today we discuss the 25th Jews of the Qur'an Sharif. This Jews, part of Surah Hamim Sajda, the last part of it, and then thereafter Surah Shura, Surah Zukhruf, Surah Dukhan, and Surah Jasya. Allah Tabaraku Wa Ta'ala, at the very beginning of the Surah, Allah Ta'ala speaks about the knowledge of the day of Qiyamah. Ilayhi yuraddu ilmu sa'a. That to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the knowledge of the day of Qiyamah. If anyone wants to know when is Qiyamah, that knowledge Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has confined to himself. So hence, even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was asked about Qiyamah mockingly with sarcasm from the Quraysh of Makkah, that knowledge is only known to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about a unique quality of insan, of man, that how often and how quick we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we forget whatever we have is all from Allah Rabbul Izzat. Allah says, وَإِذَا أَنْعَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ أَعْرَضَ وَنَعَى بِجَانِبِهِ The nature of man is such, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows upon him ni'mats, example, good health, wealth, honor, comfort, he becomes so intoxicated with it, that he distances himself from Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, and he becomes arrogant, he becomes heedless, he becomes stubborn, and he then forgets all of this is from Allah. But then, وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ فَذُو دُعَاءٍ عَرِيضٍ That when difficulties afflict him, then he engages in supplications, and those supplications are lengthy and long. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala again speaks about the limited knowledge of man. Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al That as time goes by, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala shows the human different signs in the universe. And these signs are exposed to man so that man may attach himself with Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, recognize that all power and majesty belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So hence Allah ta'ala from time to time divulges his signs to man, both in the universe and in the human itself, till the day of Qiyamah. And this shows us our limited knowledge and the far exceeding knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next surah, surah Shura, is a Makki surah. And after Allah ta'ala affirming the source of Wahi, that is Quran, and the Nubuwat of our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala speaks about another phenomena. Takadu samawatu yatafattarna min funqihinna wal malaikatu yusabbihuna bihamdi rabbihim وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ That soon, very close, the skies will begin to burst and the earth will also burst asunder. Hence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the angels that make ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the narration of Tirmidhi, such large numbers of angels make ibadat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sky, that a crackling sound will be heard if a person could have got closer to the sky. There is not even the span of four fingers between these angels. On the other hand, in Surah Maryam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
تکاد السماوات يتفطرن منه وتنشق الارض وتخر الجبال حدا the skies and the earth and the mountains all could be destroyed why andau lirrahman walada because man attributes a child man attributes offspring to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this cannot be tolerated by the other creations of allah then can one understand the tolerance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala despite the fact that man has attributed partners to allah man worships idols and man worships deities besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yet allah tabarak wa ta'ala feeds yet allah tabarak wa ta'ala sees to the needs of one and all thereafter allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about this quran once again that allah revealed it so that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam could warn and invite the people of makka and the surrounding areas in other words the whole world and watundira yawm al jam'i la rayba fi so that you could warn the people regarding the day of qiyamah in which there is no doubt fariqun fil jannah wa fariqun fi sa'id a group of mankind will be in jannah and a group will be in the blazing fire it has been narrated with regards to umar ibn abdul aziz rahimahumullah that his wife would say i would shudder when he would recite this aya fariqun fil jannah wa fariqun fi sa'id because he would cry and cry and sob and he would say to him to allah rabbul izzat beseeching allah o oh allah i do not know which fariq i do not know with which in which group i would be the people of jannah or the people of the blazing fire Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then speaks about two modes of Allah's acceptance of his slaves and his servants. Allahu yajtabi ilayhi man yasha wa yahdi ilayhi man yunib. One group is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala attracts them towards him. Allah ta'ala pulls them like how a magnet pulls metal. That is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses one group. And that group will be obviously the Anbiya alayhimu salatu wa salam. They were the chosen slaves and servants of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And then of course the awliya and the pious slaves of Allah. For the rest of mankind, Allah says, وَيَهْدِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ يُنِيبُ And this is the very very important message to all of us. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this great quality that allah taala will guide to him may yunib that person that turns to allah subhanahu wa taala who is the person that turns towards allah the person that seeks from allah and the person that makes toba to allah rabbul izzat and ask allah subhanahu wa taala to guide him so hence allah give us the tawfiq that we all beseech and ask allah taala to guide us now going forward in surah shura allah subhanahu wa taala speaks about the comparison between dunya and akhirat allah makes a comparison fama utitum min shay'in fa mata'ul hayati dunya that whatever you have been given in this world it is only mata it is only substance material that is for the life of this world in fact mata is such a ridiculed piece of material that has been used as a cloth and then there is no use for it whatsoever that is the meaning of mata and that is how allah taala has described everything that is in this world wa ma indallahi khairun wa abqa then allah says that whatever is by allah that is in the akhirah it is better and it is everlasting but for who lil ladina amanu for those who have brought iman now here allah subhanahu wa taala enumerates eight qualities of the people that will become worthy of the ni'mats of allah rabbul izzat may allah tabarak wa taala bless us with these qualities one 
وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Those who place their trust in Allah. This world is a world in which we will plan, which we call Tadbir. And then of course there is Taqdeer, that is Allah Ta'ala's pre-ordainment. So whilst we plan, we will put our trust in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Second, وَالَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِبُونَ كَبَائِرَ الْإِثْمِ وَالْفَوَاحِشِ That those people who abstain from the major sins and they abstain from immodesty. وَإِذَا مَا غَضِبُوا هُمْ يَغْفِرُونَ And when they become annoyed, they become angered, they become angry, they forgive. Then the next quality, وَالَّذِينَ اسْتَجَابُوا لِرَبِّهِمْ Those who responded to their Rabb, those who accepted the commandments of Allah and those who accepted the taqdeer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa aqamu salah and they established the salah wa amruhum shura baynahum wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun that they matter in the important matters between them they will be shura there will be consultation they will consult with each other In other words, a person will not be too proud to feel that my opinion is the opinion, but he will ask, and this was the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And they spend from that which we had sustained them. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَهُمُ الْبَغْيُ هُمْ يَنْتَصِرُونَ And then there are those people that when a wrong has been done to them, when they are oppressed and uh, when they are subjected to aggression, then they defend themselves or otherwise they will retaliate. But they will not retaliate more than the oppression that has been caused to them. Allah Ta'ala concludes these and as Allah says, فَمَنْ عَفَى وَأَصْلَحَ فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Then those who forgive and they reconcile, then they ajr and their reward is by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one part of the subject matter of Surah Shura. The next Surah is Surah Az-Zukhruf. And again Allah ta'ala, after speaking about the Qur'an and the greatness of this Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَفَنَضْرِبُ عَنْكُمُ الذِّكْرَ صَفْحًا أَنْ كُنْتُمْ قَوْمًا مُسْرِفِينَ That should we remove the advice, the Qur'an from you, should we stop the Qur'an? Now this was revealed in the environment of Makkah Mukarrama, that when the Quraysh turned away from the Qur'an and they became aggressive, they became arrogant and they said what they said, but Allah wa ta'ala continued to reveal this Qur'an and this leaves a very, very important message for us and that message is no matter how people react to the message of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we need to continue and we need to always continue the message of Allah and invite towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next surah, Surah Ad-Dukhan. Once again, Allah ta'ala speaks about the Qur'an here in a little different way and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the revelation of the Qur'an Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka That Allah Ta'ala revealed this Qur'an on laylatun mubaraka And that will be laylatul qadr And Allah Ta'ala speaks about His greatness But Allah says Balhum fi shakkin yal'aboon Despite the fact that Allah Ta'ala revealed the Qur'an Sent Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Quraysh They continued to doubt regarding the Kitab of Allah And of course they began to be playful and they began to be amused with this world and the result of it is that they were deprived of this great ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last surah, surah Jathia, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about this Qur'an once again but Allah ta'ala speaks about the greatness of Allah ta'ala's kudrat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the condition of the day of Qiyamah what is the message? وَتَرَى كُلَّ أُمَّةٍ جَاثِيَا كُلُّ أُمَّةٍ تُدْعَى إِلَىٰ كِتَابِهَا The Jathiyah means people that will sit on their knees 
And hence on the day of Qiyamah, those that were disobedient to Allah will be in that pathetic manner in which they will be disgraced. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq wa sallallahu ala nabiyyi al-kareem wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. بالحمد حين تقرأ بالحمد حين تقرأ